Hi everyone, you want a tip on how to keep your job doing food delivery? Well, stick around and I'll share it with you. Hey everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to be a great food delivery driver and improve your earnings and ratings. So let's get right into it. About two months ago now, I got deactivated off DoorDash and I thought I had been doing a good job documenting all my deliveries, but I wasn't. I was making it much harder on myself than it needed to be. So I want to give you a tip to help you from not being fired doing these different food delivery apps. And that tip is document all your deliveries. I bet right now you're very smart and you know to take pictures of your deliveries. Anytime you're dropping off food, obviously leaving at the door, you're gonna take a picture using the, the camera in the app, such as Uber Eats, Postmates, you know, DoorDash. But you should also take pictures on your own using your phone outside of the app. That way you have access to them later. And the best way to do that is have a dash cam, have a cell phone with a camera, and especially that timestamp app Thanks to Chad the Gig Economist, that is such a great camera. It puts the GPS locations right there. Oh wow, I just got an order. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure my dash cam is running, and it is. And today, it is Friday, March 26th. It's nine in the morning and I'm talking to my camera. That way the camera, later on when I go back, I can find out what's going on. Oh look, I have a Postmates order and it is to Whole Foods Market in Santa Monica, California. Wow, it looks like we'll get to go near the pier and the pickup and all right, let's go ahead and get that food. And then the most important thing that I wanna do is take a screenshot and save that to your photos. You wanna get the order and the customer's name and their address and where we're headed. So I took that screenshot right now and I'll go in and get the food. And I'm coming back now after getting the food and you say, start the delivery. Now, once I start the delivery, I'm gonna make sure my dash cam is on again. And it is, and I'll talk to my dash cam again. Okay, this order is a Postmates. It's for Dara K. And it's to Oceanfront Lane, Santa Monica, California. And obviously, I don't need to say California every time. It says, deliver to the customer. Hand off items to the customer. This way, you won't take a picture, and I can get you fired and enjoy a free meal. Wow, what an insightful comment that that customer put in. That's a good point on the hand-to-me orders. Where's your proof that you gave it to them? Well, you would have some proof if you have a dash camera driving up to the residence. If you use your phone before you even hand it to them, if you take a picture of the food on the door using that timestamp uh, camera app, that'll have the GPS locations. So do what you can to protect yourself for those hand to the customer orders. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, complete the delivery. I'll take a picture. That's good to go. Another order just came in, and this time it looks like it's a Popeyes. So, talking to my camera, it is 9.01, and that was a really fast delivery on that last one. And it's Friday, March 26. I am on DoorDash now, and if you want, you can take a picture of the order and have what food they ordered if you want. So, this one is to Tony X. And it's a large Coke, mixed chicken, 12 piece, looks like some biscuits, Cajun fries, and large beans. So I'll take a screenshot of the order. And then after I go in and pick it up, I'll uh, come back out to the car, start the delivery, and then I'm gonna talk to the dash cam. And you can see here that this order is for Uber Eats. It is Popeye's chicken, and I'm headed to Tony X and he lives at one oceanfront lane. Hmm, that's like right next to Dara in Santa Monica. This one says, hand to customer. I'll still give you a tip so you don't think that I reported you. 
Oh, pretty slick, huh? That's a good point. Sometimes it's hard to tell who reports you for not doing something right when they still give you a tip. It's pretty obvious on some of the apps when you don't get a tip or especially on Uber Eats when they project a tip but then you don't get one. You can pretty much figure out who reported you. All right, well, let's get back to business and deliver this order. So overall, that went pretty smooth. I'm going to talk to my dash cam after every delivery. So that order that I just did to Tony on the one oceanfront lane, it went smoothly. It did say hand to the customer. And Tony looked like um, a male. He had dark hair and he was skinny and he, he wore some nice clothes. That way I give a description for later if, if someone says, hey, uh, they didn't give me the food. I'd be like, yes, there was a man. He had two dogs. They were white dogs and they were barking a lot. He seemed like in a big hurry. So I'm giving a description of what the customer looked like on my dash cam. So you always want to be descriptive on the camera with your dash camera. That way you give the company name, the date and time that you're doing it, and the order, the name of the customer, the address you're going to, and then when you get back in the car and make sure your dash cam is running, you can describe to yourself how that order went. So in times of trouble, if you have to go back and ever prove that you're innocent, what you can do is listen, to, watch your video, and it'll take you through the entire day from start to finish. That way you're covered if you're doing multiple food delivery apps, you know, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, Grubhub, etc., or even Instacart, Amazon. Um, you want to be as specific as you can. Uh, that way you can go back and easily find an order. When I was deactivated off DoorDash for that time, I really had a frustrating time because they didn't give me information on um, who reported me, so I was guessing. And you know what? That's frustrating to go back over many days of video and try to figure out, oh, wait, was this an Uber Eats order? Was that Postmates? Was it DoorDash? Because I didn't have my... DoorDash system up so I couldn't rely on past information. So taking a screenshot of everything is really helpful. Thank you very much for your attention. I appreciate it. And please let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful. I think it's well worth your time to document every delivery and hope that you never need to go back and do that. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have a lot of pain and frustration to go back and prove your innocence to that company if they even ask you for proof that you did your job. All right, I do appreciate your attention. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and have fun delivering food. Most customers are great, it's just the few that aren't. All right, have a good day, bye.